Carrie Sherburn, Senior Editor at What They Think, and I'm here with Guy Gecht, who is the CEO of EFI, and we're here at EFI Connect 2017. Carrie, welcome to Connect again. Great Thank to have you. you here. And, you know, one of the things I always look forward to, and I've been coming to Connect ever since you let the press start coming. <laughs> uh, which it was might dangerous been, in the beginning, yes. It was dangerous, yeah. But, you know, one of the things I really like is um, you always bring some sort of thought leadership piece to, to, the, to the meeting, usually in your keynote, 3D printing, for example, a year or two ago. Yeah. This year it was artificial intelligence. Wow. Yes. Is it here? <laughs> it's much closer than most people think. And the reason why I pick uh, artificial intelligence from a keynote was that I wanted to put the industry on notice that that's going to happen, happen soon. And you know what happened with the previous technology transformation with the personal computer, mm -hmm. the internet, the mobile devices? Mm -hmm. Our industry was not really ready for that. And first, at first we were the victim. And then it took us a while to really use it to our advantage. Mm -hmm. and a lot of successful companies like we heard from Quad today are very successful using mm -hmm. those technologies. So same thing for artificial intelligence. It's going to have opportunities and risk, and mm -hmm. you got to think about it and be prepared. It's not next month, but it's coming uh, very soon. So it's a topic I've been uh, very passionate and interested for so ever since I was in university. Uh, I'm actually involved in this, and for many, many years, nothing really happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, it moved really, really slowly. It's probably not fair to the people that work on that. But ever since the internet took place, uh, it's moving very fast because of mm -hmm. access to data, because mm -hmm. the unbelievable computation power in the cloud. Mm -hmm. in the cloud. And then the, the third thing is actually a very strong uh, computation power in the device, because mm -hmm. you have to have both to really have an application that can move in real time like human. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that you know gets a lot of press and profile is the self-driving cars, of course. Yes. And so I was just thinking about, okay, if it's all in the cloud, and you don't have the device part, ooh, that's kind of scary with a car. Right, so, so <laughs> yes, the, when you have something like a self-driving car, which is a classic artificial intelligence yeah. uh, application, the, the last thing you want is everything running in the cloud and then you're getting to no connectivity zone and then the car doesn't know what to do right. and that's not going to end up well. <laughs> and so that's what I said, you got to have very strong computation power both in the cloud and mm -hmm. on the, at the car itself to react and very, very quickly to whatever change on the road. Uh, this has been uh, something I've been watching because I live in the Silicon Valley. Um, I see all those Google cars driving around mm -hmm. and they're getting better and better and the person sitting next to them does nothing, wave with two hands to make sure everybody, you know, the car drives itself. Mm -hmm. And reading the reports, it's getting better and better. And now it's really here. Mm -hmm. I mean, my Tesla does autopilot, means I'm self-driving on the highway mm -hmm. and uh, they're about to release by the end of this year complete self-driving point to point, mm -hmm. uh, which is amazing. I think mm -hmm. it's going to reduce accident by a lot, it's mm -hmm. going to improve uh, traffic because it will be smartly channeled mm -hmm. traffic and it's going to give a lot of people another half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour commute each way in the morning to do right. some very productive things. So it's pretty exciting change. And you know the other thing, I mean obviously there's been a lot of talk lately about jobs <laughs> Right. and, and uh, you know we went through a phase of really jobs going away because of automation. This is another level, right, of reducing the number of jobs that are required. Unfortunately, as computer gets smarter, mm -hmm. they can do things that before only human can do. Right. You're absolutely right about automation. One of the things I shared in my talk is I went to visit a packaging company, uh, Budweiser, uh, in, uh, near um, uh, San Francisco. Budweiser factory, and I got a tour by a former employee, and he showed me how it works. It was very impressive, mm -hmm. 35 different types of beer. And I asked him how many people work in this factory, gigantic factory, he says 300 people. Mm -hmm. I said, how many people worked here when you left 10 years ago? He said 900 people. So it went from 900 to 300 in 10 years. Mm -hmm. I said, what happened? Did they move some production out of here, went offshore, less type of bills? He says, no, we have a lot more production, a lot more type of bills. It's all automated. Mm -hmm. So we need a lot fewer jobs. And that's just a sample of one example. It's happened in every manufacturing plant everywhere. Clearly, there's a big impact on manufacturing jobs. And so my next question, my last question is, does that mean that an AI company is going to be your next acquisition? You know, we're doing some AI uh, projects at uh, EFI already. We're watching what's happened. We don't have the budgets of a Google or Amazon or Facebook. We're watching what happened in Silicon Valley and leveraging that. Uh, I don't know, if we, if we find a good company that will bring value, not just specifically AI, but AI in printing, absolutely it could be a target. Uh, we always like to bring smart people via acquisition and more products that our customers will appreciate. Our goal is when AI getting to be a much more reality, EFI mm -hmm. is ready and our customers have the tools to be ready and leverage that. Otherwise, you can just have Gilad do it all. Gilad will do it all. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> sure. Guy. All right, thank you.